I'm Jen Wiggs and I'm an artist at Ore Street Studios. I work in gouache and watercolor and I really specialize in gouache and watercolor and ink and works on paper. Well, I'll tell you, I, I always wanted to paint the music. I remember uh, telling somebody a long time ago, you know what I, what I really want to do is just listen to jazz and paint to it. And uh, that's something that I wanted to do for a long time. And I think, and the reason for that is your mind, my mind tends to get kind of jammed up. And for some reason, listening to jazz, it like unclogs that kind of stream of consciousness. It just lets me let go in the studio, which is why, why I love it so much. So um, it's important to me, it's part of my practice. Um, so I, I'm always listening to it. Well, um, I would like to talk about the process a little bit because I think, I don't want anybody to think that I typically am illustrating music. Okay, there's a difference. I'm not, when I'm in the studio working, I'm listening and letting the music kind of contribute to a stream of consciousness, but I'm not trying to illustrate music or particular pieces of jazz or even um, reflect the music directly. So the music is just a vehicle for creative expression for me. So this is watercolor and a lot of the early stages of a watercolor are very pale because you have all that beautiful white of the paper coming up under it. So I, if I'm starting with color, I can begin with color and kind of deepening those washes as I go. And then I often like to take some Indian ink and do a little bit of drawing into the surface. And then I'll often go back and kind of beef up those washes just a little bit and kind of um, intensify the color where I want it to be. So you'll have very pale sections and then you'll have other sections that have more intense color. These days I'm doing a lot of drawing, more, I would say more drawing in my sketchbook um, than I did previously. And part of that is just having uh, spending more time because of COVID and uh, being at home more and also just wanting to kind of express all of that energy that you have inside of you, both negative and positive, and just sort of get that on on the surface. So I've been exploring all of these little um, different kinds of mark making into uh, the watercolor where I'm kind of depicting these imaginary surfaces, whether they are like pattern sometimes and sometimes they are like texture, often they are like tree or bark like things, but sometimes they're just used very abstractly to say, oh, this is a dense populated area with all of these marks as opposed to this area which is real open and less marks. So you know I use them in different ways and I use them too to sort of graphically support the color shapes that I have down. Like so many artists you know sketch sketchbook work has always been kind of difficult for me actually and something happened to me this year where I was just able to sit down and just crank. So I have made, um, I don't know how many sketchbooks. And I think it's, you know, some of it is stress and some of it is meditation and some of it is the pressure to express yourself, um, you know, while you can. So the really great thing is if you sign up for the peer to peer fundraiser, you're going to choose a piece of music and I'm going to come in here and work to that music and then that piece will be yours and only yours.